Hey, how's it going everybody? It's Tanner here and welcome back to another Ninjago 2019 speculation video here on the channel. In today's video, I wanted to basically talk about what exactly the state of the Garmadon family will be after the conclusion of 2019's story. So now there are a few things that we need to talk about in terms of differences from the ending of season 9 to the beginning of this little TV special or whenever the Oni and Dragon saga will continue. Of course, we know that the 2019 movie, the TV movie, will actually be the finale of the series, or not the series, but the storyline, rather. And with that can only come redemption for one character and an unknown fate for two others. So basically, the way I see it, there are three different things that basically depend on the finale of this uh, little 2019 TV movie. And those people are, of course, Lloyd, Garmadon himself, and uh, Master Wu. Of course, a few characters are a little different. Garmadon has since been arrested, and he's currently in custody somewhere. Who really knows? But his story is nowhere near done. He'll definitely be back. Uh, Lloyd has been around for a little bit. He lost his powers and pretty much just got them back towards the end of the season. Uh, season 9, that is, and Master Wu has fully returned to his master self after the time shenanigans that went on during Season 7. He's finally back in his normal form, and basically the conclusion of Season 9 basically puts these three characters in sort of strange spots that I really don't know how they're going to be, I guess, translated over once the TV movie actually comes out. So in my opinion, there's really only one person in which all of this depends on, and that of course is Garmadon himself. Will he become the old Sensei Garmadon again, or Master Garmadon, whatever you want to call him, or will he remain his evil self? I personally don't know. If they could pull something like they did last time, in which Garmadon basically comes back as good, that was after the Overlord incident back in 2012, or they could go ahead and just keep him evil and just kill him off like they did with many other villains, such as Harumi or Mr. E, for example. You really don't have to redeem every character. You could even kill them if you wanted to. But considering it's Garmadon, and considering Garmadon has a huge, I guess, presence in the 2019 sets and the story and all that, I have a feeling they want to keep him around, and I'm interested to see what he does. Of course, the current state of the Garmadon family really isn't the best. I mean, one person is imprisoned, and, uh, you know, at least Master Wu's back. I'll, I'll give them that. At least Master Wu's back, and he's not missing anymore. He's not a child. He's not a baby. He's not a golden samurai. He's just regular Master Wu again, and I'm very thankful for that. But it's interesting to think of what that could mean for Lloyd's character as well, considering his father is still alive, but he's in jail, and Master Wu is suddenly back in his life out of nowhere. So when you look at this, I guess, situation from different perspectives, you sort of just get a general feel as to how confusing this might be for each character and how different it'll feel once the TV movie actually comes out. So thanks a lot for watching, guys. It'll just about do it for this quick little discussion video here. If you enjoyed the video, as always, feel free to give it a huge thumbs up rating. And of course, remember that the subscribe button is there for you to click as well if you've not done so already. Of course, the comment section is yours for the various discussions that you would like to have regarding this topic, or if you just had a comment of a general nature, that's fine as well. Thanks a lot for watching once again, guys. My name is Tanner Fishies, and with that, I bid you farewell.